Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys been uh, watching my content, I'm still trying to explore different tools which are available in uh, Dragon OS uh, related to software defined video. Uh, so this video is going to be a brief video. Uh, actually, I found a tool there uh, which goes quite well with HackRF. So as you can see, my HackRF is connected uh, through a ultra wideband antenna. We're going to look at this antenna and then also have some other antennas and an antenna like this, which I've been using it. Uh, this is an ultra wideband antenna, which is operating at higher frequencies, uh, but at lower frequency, it doesn't have a very good performance. But we're going to still look at it anyhow. So, as you can see, it's all fired up. It's connected to my laptop with an ultra wideband antenna. The application that we're going to look at today, uh, if you go here on this, and if you go to i think ham radio i'm still confused yeah go to ham radio and not ham radio sorry uh, other and there's a tool called hack rf spectrum analyzer i'm just going to simply click on this and just it will open up this window ls it and this is the file that you want to run so as you know if it's in green then you know you it's a python file you can run it with period forward slash Hack RF sweep spectrum analyzer. Now, what this is is this is sort of like an a spectrum analyzer. It, it is an a spectrum analyzer. I, I have made uh, videos on it uh, previously, uh, but it will allow you to sweep the entire spectrum. I mean, it will automatically sweep the entire spectrum. So think of it like uh, remember you can you can set and start frequency and start frequency. So the default that you are seeing right now, it's actually it's sweeping from 2400 megahertz all the way up to 25 megahertz. So these are the different frequencies that you are seeing. Uh, but the cool thing about this particular software is, uh, which goes really well with HackRF, is actually you can sweep the entire spectrum. So the firmware version that I have on my HackRF, which, has, which I updated to, it's a 2023 firmware update. So I know my HackRF might be operating at a lower band somewhere around 10 megahertz and all the way up to 6 gigahertz. So as you can see with my wideband antenna and I'm actually monitoring the activities which are at uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. I can also do a peak hold to see. I can increase again. I can go to my chart option and what else I can do. Uh, I think I can do a peak hold here. I just saw it. The one thing that I found really interesting, which I'll show you in a bit. So you can see there's a lot of activity at two, from uh, in 2.4 gigahertz band, which is generally for Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth devices. So, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna bring this to let's say 50 or 10 megahertz, and I'll. I'll do 10 megahertz here. So now it starts sweeping from all the way from 10 megahertz all the way up to 25 megahertz. So normally when you have tabletop function uh, spectrum analyzer, uh, when you turn on your spectrum analyzer, it will sweep the entire spectrum, whatever that spectrum analyzer is rated for. And based on the signal and spikes, you can just focus on one particular signal that you are interested in. Uh, so this is the feature of this where you can do a hack RF in terms of its sweep. So I'm going to increase this frequency. So I want to sweep an entire band from 10 megahertz all the way up to 6,000 megahertz. And this is what you normally see. There's an activity going on and things like that. One thing that I really like is this. Uh, I can go here in a chart option. And then I can click on frequency allocation band. Sometime, like, you know, when you look at a frequency allocation chart, you know that certain frequencies are for, for certain things and they are defined by FCC. So this thing is a very cool uh, frequency allocation band where you can go to a drop down box and then you can either select US and Europe. So I'm going to select USA and now it will have. So once you just now all you need to do move your mar marker and move your marker around this so let's say 5100 so this this spike that you're seeing is 5162 megahertz so they will tell you what is the purpose of this as per the us 
frequency allocation band. What is that band is located at? Uh, what is the purpose of this particular band? So if I were to look at a band here, which is somewhere around 580, 5850. So my mouse is hovering over here. So this is a for, uh, as you can see it at the bottom here, just focus here. So this is for what? ISM band. So you can see that for ISM activity or private land mobile or personal mobile devices and things like that. If I were to move over here, this band is for RF devices, 5,150 all the way up to 5,250 for RF devices, for satellite communication and for aviation. So this is a very cool feature that uh, I found in this particular tool where you will actually see by just clicking on the spikes uh, which are there in your sweep. It will tell you what is that particular band allocated for either for us or either for europe um let's say let's let's do a couple more then we have 37 to 42 for satellite communication if i move over here just move a little bit over here so ism band uh which is like 2400 gigahertz band and then you can just simply move around here. Let's go here. So this is wireless communication. So this is a band which is allocated for uh, your devices, like for example, GSM 1800 band. If I move a little bit further on my spectrum, a little bit more here. So this is also for wireless communication. We have 2100 megahertz band, which is for 3G allocations and things like that. If I move further, I will see also from 20, 2180, 2.18 gigahertz, all the way up to 2.2 gigahertz for satellite communication and wireless communication. Then if I move further, I will find a GSM band, which is somewhere around 900 megahertz. So 900 megahertz in US is also for public mobile, but there's also some ISM band at 700 megahertz as well. So that's why you're seeing this at 700 megahertz, you're seeing this as an ISM band as well in US and things like that. So in this way, you can actually physically show that indeed uh, the bandwidth allocation or the frequency alloc allocation for a particular band and what is the purpose of that band. So I, I found this particular feature in this tool quite interesting where you can actually show uh, what frequency bands are for what purposes and things like that. So I hope you like this small tutorial on, on Hack RF Sweep. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.